deadpan. Hey, brother. Okay, listen. Your strum pattern for the Green Day song, if you're wondering if I want you to, I want you to. Um, I'm just going to pick the G chord, and you're going to play down, 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 up, down, up. Okay, that's the first half again. Down, 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 up, down, up. And the second half is up, down, down, up, down, up. Again. So when you put them together, you get... Two measures, so it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. To go from A to the diminished chord, you sort of break the bar in half, shift the bar down, and second finger up to the sixth fret. Tuck your ring finger onto the G string, and that's it. So that's. Follow the chord progressions for everything else, the verse, the chorus, and the bridge. Only thing that's not a chord progression is this. I don't know if we did that there, open notes. Uh, that was sloppy, but they both work. And then for Chelsea Dagger, go to the riff, that's the fun part. Everything else is a little bit repetitive. The riff's chromatic and starts at the fifth fret. A string. That's all in the A string except for that single note on the D string when I go. And then you repeat it from the low E string. So the whole riff is. Repeat. The second time resolve down to the low E. went G, A7, which is the same shape with no pinky, C7, which is 3-5-3-5-3, three, five, three, five, three. B7, same shape shifted down, E minor, 7-9-9-8-7-7, seven, nine, nine, eight, seven, seven. and D major. And that was all down shows. Have fun, brother.